so a lot of people were probably wondering, you know, what, I guess, what happened and why the group didn't, why there was not another album after that with Scola in it. Um, well, actually, um, Def Jam went through a transition. L.A. Reid came in. Right. And at that time, we was, we, uh, we were supposed to have started on a, an album after the Jewel well Order, but things kind of fell apart because, you know, Cisco wanted to do his thing again then. Of course, that's going to make Jazz go do his thing. And mm -hmm, of course, mm -hmm. I'm going to go hustle, and I'm not going to depend on them to eat, you know what I mean? So of course. Yeah. It just kind of like fell apart, which is crazy, because L.A. Reid was going to pull out all the bells and whistles for us. And I thought it would have been a great move to do another album to set the stage for everybody's solo project. I think and mm -hmm. that would have been a better move. That would have been, been a better move. You know, that would have been a better move. As mm -hmm. a whole, um, you know, everybody wasn't, you know, everybody wasn't would thinking it? the same way. You know what I'm saying? So that 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 led to um, Def Jam actually releasing Drew Hill because it was just too much. It's just too much BS. It's it's just too much. One minute we're going to do something, and, and then the next minute it's not going to happen. One minute we're going to do something, next minute it's not going to happen. You know, so yeah, if all said, the members, yeah, if all the members not on the same page, it's just right, difficult. Right. So the whole group kind of like checks that charge. You know. Right. And um, once once um. Once we got released or whatever, I went on and, and just started on building my own label, which is Victory Records. Mm -hmm. I've been just recording real heavy. Um, I even did a little acting, man. I did a couple of plays and everything. Um, oh, yeah, I've seen you in a couple of videos, too. Yeah, I did, yeah, I did mm -hmm. a whole gang of videos, you know what I'm saying? So I was just talking to Oh, wait, 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 slow down. You mean like a, uh, like a Ray J, Kim Kardashian? No, you know. I'm not you, <laughs> Oh, I, I wasn't know. I don't know. Music video? Music video. Okay. Yeah, okay. Music video. Yeah, I know. Okay. I mean, was okay. that something? Um, no, no. <laughs> music videos. Just music videos. That's it. Tell them, tell them some of the videos you were in real fast. Oh, man. Um, I did, uh, what's that, Mary J. Blige featuring Eve. Not today. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Did, uh, with Jill Scott, um, Walk in the Park, I did a uh, okay. Carl Thomas and Faith Evans, I mean, yeah, Faith Evans, um, wow, it was quite a few, um, Rough Ends, um, I can't even think of all of them right off the top. That's, so, good. That's, that was, good. That's, that's good, that's good, that's that's some good ones. Yeah, so, no. um, so you've been, you say you've been working on your, your Victory Records, and, yeah. um, you've been recording EA to Cali, right. and then, it seemed to me like out of nowhere, um, you know, this uh Why You Beef with Me record comes. How did yeah. how did that come about? Man, um man, Rod Lee I've been a fan of Rod's Rod he's been a fan of mine for a while mm -hmm. and um we just hooked up, we was in the studio and listened to some of his beats and I was telling him about a situation, um, about, you know, this girl who I was ready to work with but I didn't know she had liked me or whatever and she ended up calling my phone, you know, mm -hmm. flirting with me and her boyfriend happened to hear. Mm -hmm. You know, so he called mm -hmm. my phone and you know, blah, 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 threatening to do this, that, and the other. And I'm telling them, like, man, look, your girl called me on me. Like, I ain't even, I'm trying to get her off the phone for real. And um, that conversation just turned, I started singing a melody. So Rob was like, man, you think it's a joke? We should record it. Mm -hmm. We recorded it. He leaked the record mm -hmm. out. And now it's a banger in the club. Like, I can't yes, believe it. People is. Love, yeah, people love that record, man. Yeah, it's, it's, it's definitely, it's definitely a hot record. And, um, mm -hmm. A lot of people, um, you know, when it comes on, like you said, when it comes on, I've, I've played, I remember the first time I heard the record, I actually was living in Atlanta uh, when I heard the record, and I had right. just come back to Baltimore. Uh, right. And I was in the club, and the record came on, and I'm like, what is this record? You know, <laughs> and, uh, yeah, and it was it, it was real crazy. So um, all my people in the chat room is wide open. Uh, if you're just tuning in, it's the Diamond K Show. Uh, my girl Anonymous is here, and we got my man Scola. Yeah. Um, formerly of Drew Hill, is, is that is that accurate to say formerly of Drew Hill? Yeah, that's that's accurate. Formerly, right? Okay. I so, um, uh, of course, we know that they recently had a contest for a new member yeah. uh, for their mm -hmm. group, and I guess they have a new member now. Right. Um, by the name of Teo, um, Kid Antoine, who uh, Jazz actually used to manage Antoine. So, so is this him. is so this is the Scola replacement? Um, well, yeah, I guess, well, Scola and, I guess, Woody, too, because Woody's not in the group no more either, but, um... That's yeah, right, I, I did see, I did see him leave the group. Right. 
Right. So, um, do you want to speak on that at all? I mean, I don't mind, man. I mean, it's, you know, so I, I was like, I'm talking about it. You know what I'm saying? 